do you want to learn how to make hydrosols like rose water and other floral waters let me show you how I'm going to be making clove hydrosol today where you can use same method to make your rose water and other florals okay let's get started so all I need is my pot you need a deep pot you can get something deeper than this depending on your cups you're going to put all your plates you put inside so you need a big pot now you also need like two plates I mean two two plates or cups whatever the whatever is strong or that can resist heat yeah you place one at the bottom while the other one will be on top so then your hide your herbs will now be sprinkled around it so make sure your smaller plates breakable or any other heat resistible container it's in the middle it's going to be in the middle why you spring you pour your half so if it is neem hydrosol you want to do you pour your neem leaf all over if it is rosemary you pour your rosemary all over that corner if it is rose flower pour your rose flower around the container the smaller plates or the small plates at the base and in the middle so the cup is in the middle while your herbs is going to be around it then you're going to now add your water into it to fill it up to a level but it doesn't get to cover the cup completely okay so i'm going to be pouring my water inside remember you're going to you for your on yours depending on the hydro so you want to do you replace it with with my clove okay so i'm doing this because of what i want to use the clove for my deodorant but you can use any other one or hydro so you want to do they are all similar methods now I'm topping up my water the water will get to a level but not complete then i'm going to place my plates another smaller plate it must not be this wide one yeah you can get something smaller but heat resistible place it on top or something provided your cover will cover or lap very very well now um the, the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to place my cover on top so what we want to achieve is we want to get the steam the, the hydro so we're collecting the steam just as we did the steel water i want to watch the steel water a similar method kindly check my other video for the steel water now i'm placing this cover on top so when the steam goes right and hits the cover it turns water which will now drop into my other plate the empty plate on top of it yeah so you make sure that your cover is not sitting on top of your plate it must be down deep inside now you can use a normal cover like this other one but i'm using this because of my bowl is not my plate my pot is not that deep now look you can see as i place that that cover on top it's going up it's not covering the pot very very well and it's standing on top of the plate inside that's why i'm using this other but if you have a deep pot then you can use its cover so as the steam heats up it bounces back into your plates you must give room for between the space of your plates inside and the and your cover so it covers and laps very very well not touching your plates now the next thing we're going to do we're going to be placing an ice block an ice bag that blocks filled into the inside these bags which is going to facilitate our process so that your steam will go up quickly and create water on top of your cover which is going to drop on top our pot so it's as simple as this so you keep changing your block your block mess up you keep changing it and then that's how your water is going to create and form your hydrosol will form inside that plate so you can now use that so your hydrosol is ready to be used this is how you can make your floral water okay your rose hydrosol or your lavender hydrosol with the lavender petals flowers the same thing or your chamomile hydrosol which is with your chamomile petals okay whatever flowers you have rose flower rosemary whatever hydrosol you can make it through this process okay and use it for your face use it for your skincare routine use it for your hair whatever you want to use it for okay so have you subscribed to this channel click the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you know when i drop my next video 
okay so you don't miss out from lovely videos like this okay so thank you so much for staying to the end i'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like share and comment god bless you bye bye